What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and delicious French fry recipe using the air fryer. But before we get started, this is the last chance for you guys to order the bacon, ham, sausages. We're going to have scrapple, liverwurst, all sorts of the highest quality farm products. I'll put in the description how to send me that email. You don't have to purchase anything. This is just in case you want the live animal share when it becomes available. You do have to send me the email by this weekend, guys. So all French fries in restaurants, at least to my experience, have been fried in vegetable seed oils, soybean oil, canola, basically poison, so oxidized and toxic to your body. You will feel horrible when you eat them. And then even if you go to Whole Foods, Sprouts, these natural organic grocery stores, even the best packaged French fries available still using those seed oils. Nothing really exists that is good enough to eat, personally. So I make my own French fries. And we did a recipe a year or two ago now that's very time intensive. So this is as quickly, to my understanding, that you can make decent French fries. These aren't the best, you know, blanching them, putting them in the oven, frying them. That's going to be better tasting. But for 10, 15 minutes of work, this is excellent. So here we have some organic russet potatoes. I think this bag is four or five dollars. We have Frankie's steak seasoning, which is onion, garlic, some mushrooms, salt, pepper. Perfect for French fries. Honestly, even though it's called a steak seasoning, I've been using this more on potatoes. And then we're just going to use some liquid coconut oil, aka MCT oil, aka refined coconut oil. And you just need a knife and a peeler. Uh, so two potatoes is about what fits in the air fryer. Now, now these are really good sizing, but sometimes when you go to the market, they're kind of small and those are very hard to make French fries with. So the longer these are and, and the more round shaped, it's gonna be better to have a nice French fry. Of course, it's still gonna be delicious. It's just gonna be more irritating to peel and cut smaller potatoes and not as good visually. I don't really like these types of peelers, uh, but one trick I did see uh, at a restaurant when I was working years ago is is you hold it like this a blade facing away from you and then you can just kind of keep going so you don't really have to cut these into french fry shapes it's going to be a lot easier to just make wedges whatever you want and those are still going to be delicious but presentation wise if we want french fries what you should do is chop off the ends of the potatoes and then we're gonna go lengthwise straight down. So you could still cut these pieces into French fry shapes or wedges or whatever you want, but this is what's gonna have a better French fry shape when it's flat on the ends and flat on these sides too. Now, you know, we're not gonna get crazy. For me, this is fine. But if you want the perfect French fry shape, it's gonna be from the, the middle from the inside. So if you're doing a special dinner, maybe use these for the guests and then keep the rest for yourself. Right, this is why you get a nice Amish girl, marry her and come home to perfectly cut French fries. And if they don't look just like this, then you can throw in the basement a few hours. That's a joke. That was a joke. So we're just going to coat these in oil and then maybe a tablespoon of the steak seasoning. So I do have my air fryer outside here because a lot of smoke comes out of this thing and it really stinks up the house. So this is Philips XXL. I mean, for getting rained on about a dozen times, it still works really well. So I guess it's somewhat reliable. We're going to put this on 375 for 15 minutes, which is good. The only thing you have to do here is just make sure that the French fries are kind of spaced out. Oh, also, if you guys saw my video, uh, do air fryers emit EMF? It is safer to have it outside away from you while it's, it's operating. All right, everything's done. Fries look pretty good. So I'll usually bring this inside and then I'll like set this down on a cutting board or something, let them cool off a little bit. And you definitely want to get to these as soon as they're done cooking. And the problem with French fries is they're only good for like three to four minutes after they're done, then they start getting soggy. Uh, so as soon as that air fryer is finished, 
let them cool off like 30, 40 seconds, and then uh, have the rest of your meal ready. Guys, the steak seasoning on french fries, steak seasoning makes it because if you didn't put that on these, they'd still be pretty good, but to get like that really amazing french fry flavor and texture with just salt, takes a little more work than an air fryer, but these steak seasoning, air fryer, 15 minutes, delicious. Very good. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. You know, it's really nice to come home, spend five minutes chopping up some potatoes, throw them in the air fryer, and then you have some nice French fries that are healthy, nothing from a bag, nothing full of vegetable seed oils. And as I said earlier, guys, definitely send me that email uh, if you want to be able to order uh, the farm meat that should be available by uh, the end of next week or early the following week. Outside of that, you guys can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Frank Eats Strange Meat if you guys want to read more details uh, about those upcoming products on the website. But please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. And I'll see you for the next video.